So you will start by removing the OEM 10 millimeter diameter and 8 millimeter diameter bolts from the frame and then grab our cross brace which you see in the video line up the mounting holes you can start with the top and here you can see we're pushing through the 10 millimeter diameter bolt that we supply which is 110 millimeter long line up the mounting holes you might have to move it around a bit and then push it through like so you're going to move to the bottom before pushing the 8 millimeter diameter bolt through you must place the spacer in between the tab and the frame push up on the supplied bracket line up the mounting holes and grab the 8 millimeter diameter bolt and push it through now it's through Next, you're going to put on the supplied washer and the 8mm nylock nut. Just hand thread it. No need for tools at this point. It's a bit finicky, but just be patient. Washer is on. Not a nut. It's hand threaded. you can repeat the same on the top as well see at the bottom it's all in place remove the top washer and spin on the nylock nut Then you can grab the tools, 17 millimeter wrench and 17 millimeter socket with the extension and socket. You don't need to torque it, just tighten it. Please note that by the end you will have to apply 44 newton meter or 32 foot pound torque on this 10 millimeter diameter bolt. And then you can move to the bottom, use 13 millimeter wrench and socket and extension. And here you will be applying 32 newton meter or 24 pound foot torque by the very end of this installation procedure. Now you can move on to installing the left side. Grab the six, one of the six by 20 millimeter long hex head bolts. Actually you can grab two, but uh, one will suffice for now. Push it through and put a nylock nut just to secure the crash bar and keep it in place. You can do to both. So if you put both bolts through, just uh, put the nylock nut on, leave it loose. And we're going to move on to putting the, the back plate behind the frame. This piece will eventually, the, the, the production version will have uh, either 3M double sided tape or rubber glued on it to keep the frame intact. Now you can grab the M8 by 30 millimeter bolt, line up the mounting holes and hand thread it very carefully. I suggest that you use Loctite for this procedure. You can gently tighten it, not too much, just enough to leave the structure loose. You can then move on to the right side, grab the right side crash bar, put it in place. Millimeter 
bolts and nylock nuts. Just hand thread the nuts on, spin it on, leave it loose. Same on the back side of this tab, push it through, hand thread the nut on. like so. Then you can move to the rear end, grab the backing plate, put it behind the frame, make sure to pay attention to the orientation of this backing plate. You will see the corner cut off and that faces forward as you can see up there. Then grab the M8 by 30 millimeter hex head bolt line up the mounting holes and hand thread the bolt into the nut that's pressed into the backing plate like so. Now the structure is nice and loose. You can tighten the bolts on the front end. After tightening all M6 bolts you can torque them to 9.7 newton meter or 7.8 15 foot pound. Then you can move over to the left side and repeat the same steps using a 10 millimeter wrench or spanner and a 10 millimeter socket with extension and ratchet. Just tighten it and once it's done you can do the torque specs as previously mentioned. Now you can also tighten, fully tighten and torque the back plate. The specs are 23 newton meter or 17 foot pound. So this is pretty much the installation process of our Honda Africa 2100 lower crash bars. Once you tighten all the bolts and torque them to the specs, uh, go out for a test ride and check in once again after 100 kilometers, 80 miles or so. Do you, if you think we've missed anything important, please let us know in the comment section or just give us feedback. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated.